everyone, I'm Mekha and uh, this is my first tech video. I'm very excited to share my journey about how I became a DevOps engineer without any prior experience in IT field. In this video, I'll be sharing details about my background, how I changed my career path and what were the resources that helped me in giving me a particular direction. So let's begin with my background. So I have done uh, ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering, and uh, I've done it in Daman. It's a small union territory, and there is very little scope for IT companies. It's basically for the manufacturing companies, like electronics uh, companies and uh, pharmaceutical companies. So I started my uh, first job as a testing engineer in one of these electronics uh, manufacturing company. And these companies used to manufacture uh, LED products that we see around in our home, right? The 3 watt, 6 watt, 9 watt. So my task was to test certain products in the from the production flow to, to test about its quality and the readings are coming correctly. So that's the thing which I was doing in those companies. In this way, I continued to work in electronic uh, based company for almost 3 years. So that I work, even I worked as as uh, managing the inventory of the products. So all these things I did for almost three years. So one fine day I was thinking like, uh, what which, what should be my coming five to ten years? What should my future? Will it be still in this electronic based company or I'll choose some other path uh, as a career? So then I started searching in Google. Meanwhile, I used to visit Mumbai, Bangalore to uh, seek uh, certain other uh, job opportunities but still I was uh, not satisfied and unhappy in whatever I was doing. So then I started searching in Google about uh, career in IT field and I used to get what should be the uh, things that I need to learn, like what should be the programming languages and so on things. Then I took a course in Edureka for DevOps engineering. So I'll be frank, I had never heard about the word DevOps in my entire life. That was the first time I heard the word DevOps. Even I, even I came to know that a word like DevOps actually exists in the world, which is related to career also. So I took a course in Edureka, and uh, which which they explained about various DevOps tool. It's it's a kind of interactive uh, course, and they taught us about various DevOps tools like Git, Jenkins, Kubernetes, Docker, and various monitoring tools. So I can say that this, this part in my life is actually the first step to my new career, I can say that. And I took that course and uh, I will, I first, first I thought I'll do my job and Saturday, Sunday I'll uh, take the course. It was three hours every day, weekend classes. So I started doing that one month, two months, but it was a little bit hard for me to man, uh, manage those things because uh, I can tell you that uh, in my batch there were around 20 to 22 people okay and all of them were having uh, like IT background or in some way they were connected to IT coding testing and so on thing and I was the one who was like no prior experience so I was feeling like like am I the only one who is left out so it made me a little bit uh, like I was a little bit afraid and nervous also but then I thought anyway you are not happy in doing what you are doing right now let's take this risk and uh, explore the things so then I continued to work and uh, then finally one day I decided that I'll quit my job I'll take the risk of quitting my job and give my entire focus to this course learn it and get, uh, get certified so uh, it was uh, like at the ending of the course like still one and one and half months were rem uh, rem remaining so I uh, like I quitted my job and uh, then I studied finally I uh, completed my course Edureka course and I got uh, the certificate the Edureka certificate as DevOps engineer I was very 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 happy but this is just the beginning there are more hurdles to come so after completing my course, I started applying to IT firms in search of jobs. This was the time where I actually felt like no one is accepting me, okay? 
I used to apply for the jobs and uh, even I was getting call like okay fine uh, you can come for the interview and so on but as soon as they hear about my background they used to tell me oh we want someone who is having two years of experience you do not have any practical uh, experience or knowledge about this you have done just the course so that that's the time where everyone rejected me like most of the companies rejected me for that but then I thought okay fine like um, someone or the other will actually accept me and give me a job so I still continued to apply for jobs even I got sales job in IT but I said no I don't want to do a sales job I want a core technical job in IT firm so I keep on applying so one fine day I got to know that there is an uh, interview drive going in Infosys I thought why not apply for that company but in the back of my mind I was totally sure that this I'll tell you frankly I was totally sure that uh, I will not get selected in the company okay but I was just going as to experience as to see how is the experience of uh, how the interviews are taken in this big MNC companies so I applied I went there uh, it was my first day at like uh, at the Infosys I saw the campus campus was very big I had never seen such kind of campuses in my entire life so I went there I saw uh, like me there were many people sitting around but uh, they were having more experience than me so I said okay fine uh, anyhow I'll not be selected I'll just see around the campus and I'll go back home then I went there it was the first round so first round I went I went there had my round around 20 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 30 minutes was my first round I came back I was sitting there and uh, I was feeling hungry because uh, I went there without having my breakfast so one of the guard was standing there so I asked him that I when will the result be displayed so that I can have my breakfast and come back so he said wait for some some more time the result the results are almost done they will be declared so a person came outside uh, from the interview room and he was calling the name of the people who were selected for the second round and I was sure that I'll never be selected okay then he started calling different different name and in that moment he called my name Megha I was totally shocked I was like quiet for um, I don't know what to say that that feeling was I can never express that feeling I cleared my first round and he said that you are selected for the second round I was very happy that okay I very happy at that time I can tell you I went for the second round second round is much more difficult because it will be pure technical round so I went there second round technical round done I came back I was sitting outside I was waiting for the results then that time the person said that you are selected for the second round sorry you have completed the second round and you will be going to the third round I was so happy at that time that okay I have cleared it I have done it then when I went for the third round it was an HR round so 80 to 90 percent of the main technical round was cleared I went for the third round HR round where they discussed about all the salaries and what all the things certificates we need to provide them and the background verification so on so first thing I asked the HR Ki, am I selected or uh, is there any other round she told me that main technical round is completed we'll do a background verification of yours and if you clear that you are welcoming like you'll get the offer letter for that i was so happy and i went back home happily and i was waiting i was hoping that i'll get the offer letter and within 20 25 days i got my offer letter as an associate consultant at infosys i was so 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 happy so blessed to like getting my first job in IT company so and uh, when I went there so so I can say that the, uh, from this day like when I started my job in Infosys I started working on various uh, uh, technologies I started working on Azure technology that was my first thing uh, which I was working I worked on Azure Databricks creating CICD pipelines Kubernetes docker integrating them with different technologies all these things even i worked on gcp and aws so it the initial two years was very difficult for me because uh since i had no background i used to 
take much more time compared to other people to get an understanding of the things okay but anyhow if you if you if you provide your consistency and discipline in that do it every day even if it is a small thing small thing do it every day for sure you will succeed in whatever goal you have set so the first two years was very difficult but at the same time i learned many many technologies right now i'm working as a senior software engineer in cgi company and one thing i can say that is if i can do it you can also do it and hope this video is helpful for you all if you have any queries any questions you can provide that in comment section and i'm happy to answer those things uh, stay tuned for my other videos tech videos i'll be sharing and uh, till then bye have a nice day